Today, we're diving into a compelling exploration of timeless wisdom that can transform the way you navigate life's twists and turns. In this guide, we'll unravel the key principles of Stoicism, a philosophy that's not just ancient but incredibly relevant for crafting a fulfilling and purpose-driven existence. So, if you've ever felt overwhelmed by the chaos of daily life or sought a roadmap to steer you through challenges, you're in the right place. We're about to unpack 10 powerful Stoic principles that can serve as your toolkit for mastering the art of living. From embracing what's within your control to unlocking the secrets of eudaimonia, get ready for a journey that combines practicality with profound insights. Consider this your go-to guide for infusing Stoic wisdom into your everyday life. Let's kick things off and discover the keys to a more intentional, resilient, and fulfilling you. Number 1. Embrace what you can control. Imagine you're the creator of your own life, sculpting it with a block of marble representing your journey. Stoicism, a timeless philosophy, encourages us to focus on things within our control and let go of the rest. It's like having a remote control for how you react to life. As the ancient Stoic Epictetus said, we can't choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Think of life as throwing challenges at you, like that block of marble. Armed with a chisel, each chip represents a choice in how you react to life's challenges. You're not a victim of circumstances. You're shaping your destiny. Each setback is an opportunity for your artistic touch. Your attitude and decisions are the tools in your hands for creating a masterpiece out of chaos. It's not about controlling the uncontrollable. It's about mastering your response and crafting a unique life. Let's break it down. You can't control traffic jams, rain on your parade, or people cutting in line. But you can control how you react. That's the game changer. You decide whether to let the rain dampen your mood or to dance in it. Your response is a masterpiece in the making. Instead of struggling with the uncontrollable, stoicism gives you a chisel to carve out your path. Be the sculptor, not the victim, in the grand mosaic of life. Embrace what you can control, your reactions, decisions, and attitude. Life might throw curveballs, but with stoicism as your guide, you're not just a player. You're the architect of your destiny. Grab that chisel and start carving your masterpiece. Number two, love your fate. That's the wisdom Seneca, a big figure in Stoicism, shares with us. Amor Fati, loving your fate, is like a mantra. But what does it really mean? It's not just about accepting whatever life throws at you. It's about cradling it in your arms, loving it, and finding deep meaning in every twist and turn of your journey. Think of life's challenges not as roadblocks trying to trip you up, but as sturdy stones you step on to climb to your own greatness. Seneca isn't telling us to merely tolerate the bumpy ride. He's urging us to embrace it, hug it tight, and see it as an essential part of our grand adventure. Imagine every curveball life throws your way as an invitation, not a hassle, a chance to show what you're made of. Amor Fadi is like saying, Hey universe, hit me with your best shot because I'm not just here for the smooth rides. I'm here to dance with the storms and emerge stronger on the other side. It might sound a bit cosmic, but in a practical sense, it's a game changer. Instead of complaining about tough times, start seeing them as opportunities to flex your resilience muscles. It's not about pretending everything is sunshine and rainbows. It's about choosing to see the beauty even in the storm clouds. It's easy to be thankful when life is a parade of good vibes, but Amor Fadi challenges you to be grateful for the messy, chaotic parts too. Those tough moments are not trying to mess up your day. They're your instructors pushing you to grow and evolve. So the next time life throws you a curveball, catch it with a smile. Embrace your fate like a long-lost friend, because in every stumble and every challenge lies a chance for you to step into your own greatness. 
Life's not a straight highway, it's a winding road, and Amor Fadi is the secret source that turns every twist into a step towards your own epic journey. Number three, think about death. It might sound a bit dark, but hear me out. The Stoics, wise folks from ancient times, believe this idea could change the game. Imagine you're caught up in the daily grind and the hustle and bustle of life. The Stoics would say, wait, pause for a moment and remember that life is short. Picture this, you're on the couch, scrolling through your phone, thinking about whether to chase your dreams or put them off. This is where the idea of remembering death comes in. The Stoics, like the smart Marcus Aurelius, gently remind us that life is fleeting. It sounds heavy, right? But that's the point. Consider this a wake-up call. The Stoics argue that knowing our time on this planet is limited should motivate us to stop procrastinating. If you knew you had just one day left, how would you spend it? What dreams would you pursue? What would you say and think? The Stoics want you to use this perspective as fuel. It's not about living in fear, but with intention. When you realize how fragile life is, every moment becomes precious. It becomes a reason to take action. Procrastination, that sneaky habit we all deal with, starts to lose its grip. Why wait for tomorrow when today might be all you've got? Marcus Aurelius advises us to let our awareness of our mortality guide our choices in what we do, say, and think. It's not a call to be reckless, but to align your actions with what truly matters. Maybe it's fixing a broken relationship, pursuing a passion, or finding joy in everyday moments. So the next time you find yourself putting off something important, remember this ancient wisdom. Embrace the idea of remembering death, not as a gloomy cloud, but as a ray of sunshine urging you to live fully and authentically. After all, life is too short to be spent in the shadows of hesitation. Number four, the dichotomy of control, inspired by the wise philosopher Epictetus. Think of it like finding a hidden treasure, simple yet filled with deep wisdom. Life throws various things at us, right? Some are under our control, like choosing pizza toppings, while others, like winning the lottery, are beyond our influence. Epictetus breaks it down. Imagine your life as a bag of stuff, divided into two types. First, there are things we control, our attitudes, efforts, and whether we hit snooze. Then there's the rest, stuff like weather or traffic, things we can't change no matter how much we wish. Now, Epictetus suggests putting on our superhero capes and focusing on what we can control. Picture it as breaking free from the chains of anxiety and frustration. Instead of wasting energy on uncontrollable things, concentrate on what's within your grasp. It's like reclaiming your superpowers, becoming the captain of your ship, and navigating confidently through life's challenges. So, when faced with stress about unexpected rain or Wi-Fi issues, take a breath, recall the control dichotomy, and ask yourself if you can do something about it. If yes, be the superhero of your own story. If not, don't waste energy worrying. Life's too short to be entangled in things we can't change. Embrace the power within your reach and watch anxiety melt away, leaving you free to conquer whatever comes your way. You've got this. Number five, negative visualization. Ever thought about what life would be like without the things you usually overlook? Picture this. You wake up and all the familiar comforts of your daily routine are suddenly gone. The cozy warmth of your bed, the smell of morning coffee, and the greetings from your loved ones are all absent. It might sound a bit gloomy, but bear with me. This quirky but powerful practice, inspired by Seneca's idea of negative visualization, encourages you to take a moment and imagine a scenario where you lose something or someone precious to you. By temporarily stripping away the familiar, you get a clearer perspective on the value of what you have. It's like wiping off a foggy window to see the beauty outside. 
Negative visualization isn't just about dwelling in negativity. It's a mental boot camp that prepares you for life's inevitable challenges. By mentally rehearsing scenarios where you face loss, you build resilience. It's like putting on mental armor that helps soften the impact of real-life challenges. Think of it as a superhero training montage where you visualize facing adversity, overcoming obstacles, and emerging stronger. So, while it may feel odd to think about losing what you cherish, consider it a quirky superpower. It equips you to face life's uncertainties with a fortified mindset. Negative visualization becomes a tool for appreciating the present and navigating the twists and turns of the future with a resilient spirit. It's all about using seemingly gloomy thoughts to find the silver lining and prepare yourself for a more robust, gratitude-filled life. Number six, let's explore Marcus Aurelius's idea of the inner citadel. Think of it as a powerful fortress hidden in your mind, like your personal superhero headquarters. Life can be hectic with work stress, family issues, and overall chaos. When things get crazy outside, Marcus suggests you do a superhero move and retreat to your inner citadel. It's not a physical place with walls and moats, but a mental safe haven, your own fortress of solitude. In this sanctuary, you're the boss and in control. External chaos can't reach you here. You possess the magical power to stay calm and collected, no matter what's happening outside. When your boss is pressuring you, Deadlines are looming and the world seems chaotic. Wear your mental superhero cape and teleport to your inner citadel. It's where you can take a break, assess the situation, and decide how to respond. External craziness can't penetrate your mental force field. Marcus Aurelius isn't just suggesting finding a quiet spot. He's offering the keys to your mental fortress, your hub of inner strength. It's like having a secret power-up that keeps you calm amid chaos. Envision it as your personal superhero transformation from a stressed mortal to the composed hero of your own story. In the inner citadel, you're not just surviving, you're thriving. It's a mental dojo where you master the art of keeping your cool amidst chaos. The next time life throws challenges at you, Remember Marcus's wisdom and retreat to your inner citadel. It's not an escape. It's a strategic move to face the world with your mental superhero powers fully charged. Number seven, practice detachment by imagining it as navigating life's unpredictable seas with a life jacket called healthy detachment, a gift from stoicism. It's not about being indifferent. Instead, it means holding on to your self-worth despite external opinions. In the grand arena of existence, Stoicism reminds you that your value is not up for debate. Picture the Stoic mentor, Epictetus, advising you to have the superpower of not getting worked up about things and keeping your cool. Detachment in this context doesn't mean living in a bubble, but having emotions like Teflon-coated surfaces. Things may come your way, but they don't stick. External outcomes, whether wins, losses, applause, or criticism, are like passing clouds. Stoicism encourages you to anchor your self-worth internally and remain immune to external storms. Epictetus, the OG Stoic, guides you to choose not to have an opinion about something and not let it affect your vibe. In everyday terms, imagine facing disapproval at a family gathering. Stoicism provides a mental shield, allowing you to acknowledge opinions without letting them ruin your day. In a sea of opinions and judgments on social media, Stoicism hands you a mental shield, making you the gatekeeper of your peace. Let the judgments slide and maintain your serenity, as your worth isn't tethered to others' approval. It's like having a backstage pass to life's concert, enjoying the show and vibes while remaining unfazed by critics' reviews. Stoicism isn't about being emotionless. It's about having a heart that beats to its own rhythm and is impervious to external noise. 
Practice detachment as a daily ritual, embracing the superpower to hold no opinion and letting life's waves crash around you while you stand firm with your state of mind untouched. Stoicism gives you the freedom to dance through storms, knowing your worth is an internal flame that no external wind can extinguish. Number eight, be fair, be kind, and be genuine. Ine's wisdom echoes through time, offering simple yet powerful guidance. Imagine living a life where every move, word, and thought reflects virtue. It's more than just a good way to live. It's a roadmap to becoming a beacon of integrity, casting light and inspiration on those around you. In the grand tapestry of existence, your actions weave the narrative of your character. Acting justly means navigating choices with a moral compass and making decisions that align with fairness and righteousness. Speaking kindly goes beyond pleasant words. It's about infusing your language with empathy. Picture conversations where your words are not just communication, but also a soothing balm, guiding kindness and creating a positive atmosphere. Thinking sincerely is the silent powerhouse behind every action and spoken word. Your thoughts are seeds that bloom into deeds and words. Seneca urges us to cultivate genuine reflections untainted by deceit or self-interest. Embrace a mindset where authenticity reigns supreme, allowing your inner beliefs to shape your outward expressions. By embodying these principles, acting justly, speaking kindly and thinking sincerely, you become a living testament to virtue and a beacon of integrity. Your life transforms into a masterpiece of virtue, silently inspiring others toward a higher standard of living. In a world often plagued by chaos, imagine the impact of individuals adhering to Seneca's timeless advice. They become not just influencers, but architects of a society built on justice, kindness, and sincerity. Each virtuous action, compassionate word, and genuine thought contributes to building a better world. As you navigate your daily existence, remember the simplicity and profundity of Seneca's counsel. Act justly, speak kindly, and think sincerely. Watch as your life transforms, inspiring those around you to embark on their journey toward a more meaningful and compassionate existence. Number nine, the power of now. In our busy lives, it's easy to get caught up in the past or worry about the future. But here's a piece of wisdom from the ancient Stoic philosopher Epicurus that can guide us. Imagine you're at your desk thinking about something embarrassing from last week, or you're restless at night, anxious about what tomorrow holds. Epicurus would tap you on the shoulder and say, wait a minute, the past is gone and the future is still uncertain. But what's real is the present moment you're in. Think of it like watching a captivating movie. The scenes that have already happened are behind you, and the ones yet to come are a mystery. But the frame you're watching right now is where the action is. Epicurus encourages us to be the directors of our own show, to seize the spotlight, and to embrace the present moment because it's the only thing we truly own. Consider this. The past is like a closed book that can't be rewritten, and the future is an unread manuscript you can't peek into. But the present moment is an open page waiting for your input. It's where you can make decisions, take actions, and shape your story. So why waste it on yesterday's mistakes or tomorrow's uncertainties? Epicurus challenges us to look around and savor the present moment, whether it's enjoying a cup of coffee, feeling the warmth of the sun, or listening to the rain. Life isn't always easy. It throws challenges our way, and sometimes the present feels like a storm. But even in chaos, there's power in acknowledging the now. It's your anchor in the whirlwind of life, a reminder that amidst the chaos, you can find calm and purpose. So take a deep breath, look around, and acknowledge the power in this very moment. As Epicurus wisely puts it, it's the only reality. Your past teaches you, your future is a mystery, but the now 
that's your canvas. Paint it with purpose, intention, and a whole lot of living. Number 10. Eudaimonia is the pinnacle of our journey towards a fulfilling life, my friends. It's more than just bouncing back from challenges. It's about unlocking your full potential, living in harmony with your true self, and striving for excellence in every aspect of your life. Think of it this way. Seneca, the wise Stoic, tells us that unnecessary suffering is carrying the weight of troubles before they even arrive. It's like lugging around a heavy backpack full of rocks when you could be strolling through life lightly. Eudaimonia is your path to getting rid of that burden. It's about finding your rhythm in life, free from the unnecessary weight of early hardships. Picture yourself twirling through life with purpose and fulfillment. So, how do we achieve this flourishing life? Firstly, embrace your true nature as a thinking being. We're not just creatures of instinct. We have the power to think, reflect, and choose. Eudaimonia is about tapping into that power and making decisions that align with your values and aspirations. Next, pursue excellence in every part of your life. It's not about being perfect. It's about giving your best effort in your relationships, work, and personal growth. Seneca didn't say suffering is necessary. He said suffering unnecessarily is a burden. Excellence is the remedy to unnecessary suffering. Imagine waking up each day actively seeking ways to enrich your life, making it deeper and more meaningful. That's the essence of eudaimonia, a life in full bloom. So, fellow seekers of a fulfilling life, let eudaimonia be your guide. It's not a distant dream, but a reachable reality. Embrace your rationality, pursue excellence, and remember Seneca's timeless wisdom. Don't burden yourself with unnecessary suffering. Instead, let your life flourish like a garden, becoming more vibrant and fulfilling each day. In conclusion, folks, adopting these stoic principles can be a game changer for steering your life towards fulfillment and purpose. Remember to seize control of what's within your grasp, dance through the storms of life with amor fati and employ the dichotomy of control to reclaim your superpowers. As you navigate the unpredictable seas of existence, practice healthy detachment to remain the captain of your ship. Be fair, be kind, and be genuine, creating a ripple effect of positivity in the grand tapestry of life. And don't forget the power of now. The present moment is your canvas. Paint it with purpose and intention. Embrace eudaimonia as your guide to a life in full bloom, free from unnecessary burdens. Flourish like a garden, actively seeking ways to make each day deeper and more meaningful. So, fellow seekers of a fulfilling life, let these stoic insights be your compass, steering you towards a vibrant and purpose-driven existence. Until next time, stay wise and thrive.